Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric, and I want to get stronger. How much stronger, you ask? Uh, I think like level 48 stronger? Yeah, 48 stronger, because I want to catch a legendary. However, well, we're not quite there yet, so I think we're going to start off by power leveling. And we need to do that by capturing 10 of each pal that we've yet to catch yet. It might take a hot second, but let's do this. And that's 10 Jolt Hogs. And that's 10 Pen Kings. That's actually our first, what, Valette? Oh, by the way, since I have you here, I have an idea for what if, like, once we, once we finish up this little series, I could say, we start a, like, really hardcore version. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Just let me know what you guys think. And maybe like and subscribe, wink wink. Uh, this is the first time I've seen a shiny of something pretty rare. That's pretty neat. I had to use some hyperspheres, but that almost killed me, goodness gracious. But that's pretty cool. And that's 10 Azerobes. Whoa, we're almost level 44. I wasn't expecting the next one to get me the level up, dang nabbit. We can now get Legendary Spheres, the Electric Furnace, a sword which also acts as a pickaxe and a hatchet. Ooh, and we can get some more saddles. Oh, Hyper Sphere. And uh, no, we don't want that one. Oh, well, we're getting there. We're almost there. I finally have enough for the Electric Fur. Oh, we need heck and dang nabbit. But anyways, this allows us to make pal metal ingots. Ooh, they use Paldium Fragments. I wasn't expecting that, but this lets us get the last up like tier of stuff and things and i believe that's the max level base too bad the last few levels don't do anything oh no it looks like it finally happened to me the infinite loading screen glitch i hope i can fix this oh thank goodness it looks like i didn't lose any progress i had to restart my whole computer womp womp that's 10 gummos and that's 10 vixies Hey, 10 Hell Zephyr, not bad. And 10 Floppy. 10 Malchrists. We're getting there. Leave it to me to get two perfect Siblex back to back, of course. Oh, a Swift Suzuku, not bad. I'm totally not breeding a Hangyu and a Serpent Terra for something special. No way. Now, if the calculations are correct, this should be a Fengalope. With none of the good stats, well, one of the good stats that I wanted. Keep up the good work, you two. It, it's just a little attention to detail. The Terran surface sleeping, and it wiggles its little spines every once in a while. That's adorable. Yeah. Oh, heck, I leveled up and I didn't even notice. What? Dang that it. So at level 45, we unlock the assault rifle, the ammo, and the Mammoth Crist saddle, finally. Uh, the next one's an important tier for the PAL metal stuff and things. I st oh, I, I want the Astagon so bad. Hey, there we go. I wasn't going for Stronghold Strategist, but Runner and Swift and Ferocious are all pretty good. Now I gotta swap you out for you and level you up. That might take a hot second. And these two lovebirds... No, no, get back in there. These two lovebirds make a scorching egg. See where we're going with this? Now those two together should make a... A van worm. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Now I'm putting an Anubis and the van worm together. This might take a while because we, I couldn't find a good skill for... Uh, that the Anubis had, so I'm just gonna try and put Lucky on there, but you never know. Oh, of course they're huge eggs. This is gonna take a hot minute. And now, if we hatch this egg, it should come out as a... A Phalaris. Lucky, Runner, Ferocious. Uh, we're missing Swift. Oh, this one's almost ready too. Just give it a second. Uh, Phalaris, I believe, is the second fastest non-legendary mount. Lucky Runner, is that the exact, oh, pfft, nope, womp womp, but yeah, they're, uh, pretty good. Oh, and the Phalaris Saddle is made at level 38. Oh, we need some more refined ingots. I was expecting it to be a little bit higher, but that's not too bad. 
I know the in-game sound is off. I'm just watching some shows in the background while I wait for these stupid things to hatch. That's just lucky. Oh, so freaking close. We just need a uh, runner. Dang it. So close. I think I'm going to hatch up, uh, what, four, like a couple, a couple eggs so we can get one that's two stars. Yeah. I probably just should turn off egg incubate. Ah, oh, dang, nabbit. I should just probably turn off egg incubation times because, like, I got videos to make, man. That just took over seven hours. Uh, and we did, don't, we have just over a full box of Felleris to go with. Uh, Runner, Lucky, Swift, and Ferocious. That's not bad. And if we turn around, and over here we have the saddle. Yoink! Uh, and let's fuse them together. Now we could only get it up to two stars. Maybe we can go over to the Sanctuary and level it up a few more times. But check this out. So, take the Quiverin. Uh, and we'll go back to leveling up here in just a minute. I was just... Yeah, that took a while. So, it's a, well, in the middle of the road for the speed of all the pals that we know of. And then we take them up, like, hey, no, no. Get off. Hop on the Phalaris, whose butt looks like a turkey, by the way. Hey, come here. Oh, heck. Uh, that is very fast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We're, we're a little high up, but, like. Here, let's... We're absolutely zooming. This is nuts. Okay, yeah, that, that was pretty worth it. That's great. And it's passive skill. Party, tech. Uh, can be ridden as a flying mount. When fighting together, ice pals drop more items when defeated. Which is, like, super freaking handy. Especially for, like, ice organs and sometimes pal fluids. Now, let's uh, let's get off of you. And let's try out the uh, fangalope that we got. With the increased speed. Oh yeah, I notice a difference. Do you know? Do you see that difference? Hey, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but man, noticeably f faster. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so stoked. Now, uh, level up some more, I guess. Hold on, just a little bit more. Let's let's put the Phalaris with the Dire Howl, and I'll show you guys what we get. <laughs> this is vitally important for our progress. I swear. Now, within this egg, we should have a blaze howl. Oh, not quite yet. But, hey, oh, crap, we didn't even have one of those before. Let's go check out what it does. I know the knocked makes it so uh, rare stuff uh, drop. No, some type drops more items. But it should be uh, around here somewhere. What? Oh, it's in my inventory. Uh, grass pals drop more items. Okay, not quite as useful as the this one, nor neutral pals, because neutral pals drop a lot of useful crafting stuff. Huh. Do I even want one then? Well, yeah, if we get a good one, then, then we can breed up a good knocked. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Goodness gracious, that one took forever. I don't know if you guys caught that, but let's check that out. And yes, I'm still watching shows. So... Swift, Runner, Ferocious, and Lucky. Not bad, not bad at all. I still got to make the saddle. But I'm using all these guys to breed different guys. And it's going pretty well, I think. I don't know how many more I need to get a uh, second star for it. And then I think I have a few more things I want to breed, but that's about it. Okay, just a little bit more. If you breed the Phalaris with a Pyron and Noct, you get... Womp, womp, womp. Wait, womp, womp is the wrong reaction for this should be a Jormantide with only, wait, none of the good stats. Good job. Let's snag the sword and over here I have the hyper shield. So I go from 450 up to, oh, that's a big difference. But I've learned something recently. If you take one of your armors or whatever, you can drag it over your accessories. Oh, maybe the other way around. And they stack. Same thing goes with armor. Like, so, 1750 health, 2250 health. It's absolutely nuts, but I'm not going to use that because, because. Uh, and the sword should, oh, that's a noticeable increase. And it should uh, be able to effectively break uh, rocks and, what's the other, tree. Oh yeah, there was a, oops. 
Uh, let's go check out on this tree. See if we get something every hit. Because if we don't, then it's... Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. And... 500 durability. 500 durability. And it only weighs 10 versus... Okay, yeah. Yeah, so now we don't have to carry around both uh, axe and pickaxe. What? Nice. Oh, heck, I'm still watching movies and we level up one more time to level 46. I'll probably have to try and put the background music on or something. But with that, we unlock Palmetal Armor and a Helm. Okay, one more. We can get the Astagon Saddle, which is exciting. Right now, we're breeding a uh, Suzaku Aqua with a Blazamut. I've been, uh, I've been busy. Ten Bristilla. I set out with over 600 Pal Spheres. And, uh, these guys are just burning right through them. Yes, fear me and my mighty turtle. Get this one first. Yeah, let's get this one. Ten gob fins. They're absolutely adorable, by the way. Now let's check out the stats of the Pal Metal Helm. Uh, let's see, 150, 350. A little bit better. Yeah, I'll swap you out. Can do, buckaroo. Uh, still working away on it. I don't think I'm going to show many more because it's going to get repetitive. And I'll probably just be back once we're at a new level. Hey, there we go. Oh my god, that took... Oh my god, that took 15 hours. Ooh, this will help us out later. Finally, 10 hangyus. Yay, 10 sweets. I swear, okay. This was literally the first egg of Mossander that I hatched. It's not perfect, but like, it's real good. And I want to take that and then a Grizzbolt so we can start making the uh, Mossander Lux. Because we only have the boss variant and that'll take like 10 hours because it... Uh, what's the word? Like you can only fight one every 10 a every hour. Oh heck, a shiny van worm. No. The sparkles are a little messed up though. Nice. Ten bunny. Oh heck, another shiny. That was like... That was less than an hour. Oop, wrong way, wrong way. Hey, not bad. Ten serpents. Oh heck, I'm eating lunch. I swear, if you rubbed my two brain cells together, you couldn't even light a match. We are about third of the way through level 47. I whipped up a weapons manufacturing thingamajig, uh, the second one, and we can make the hyper grappling gun now. Uh, let's see, more durability even though it doesn't go down. Is the range of it farther? Like, womp womp. Ten Kelpsy, almost there. Ten Gory Rats, so close to level 48, almost there. Ten Mossandas, I think one more set of ten and we're probably not done. Hey, ten Cinemoths puts, puts us at level uh, 48. Now the real episode can begin. Remember the uh, epic pump action shotgun we got in the last episode? I th oh my god, 19,000? Hey, you, pal. Get to work, please. Oh, that's quite quick. Oh, that didn't take long at all. And your damage is 352, but it should do a lot of, like, damage damage. Uh, I'm going to go buy some ammo and power up my pals just a little bit more what? and then we're gonna go do the thing and a blazamut saddle never hurt anybody i don't have enough ingram points for a uh, blaze howl saddle oops just power leveling using some of the bosses i want to see how much damage the shotgun does oh oh that is a lot i wonder how many pellets there are because each one was doing what 140 to 150 damage that's pretty awesome I think I'm going to swap in Mossanda onto the team, even though he's not the right elemental type, but I just think he's cool. Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked the grass type, but... <laughs> oh yeah, and they float. Where'd it go? Okay, so it doesn't do a lot of damage quite yet, but... Oh, this is, this is fun. <laughs> and it stuns them. Now I do have quite a few souls saved up, so I want to see, so like, one small soul, I have 222, so like, enhance, and that just uses 
then two. How much does this use? Okay, then... Hmm, that is not very expensive. Maybe I'll do just a bit of each, because I can always put legend on each of these guys. But like, a little bit of an upgrade wouldn't hurt, plus I have over 200 of them. I decided to go all out on the Blazamut because I really enjoy it, so why not? Uh, oh, almost a thousand attack. Uh, yeah, I leveled up everybody just a bit. Uh, just a bit. Maybe I should do a few more. Because I have almost 60 pals, so I don't know. I'm going to keep leveling up just a little bit more. I'll probably get everyone to level 45-ish. Maybe 40. We'll see. It's taking forever. Uh, excuse me? Alright, you guys need to watch this. I... Uh, so I, this is just after I leveled them up. Now I believe it, it was this one. I missed completely. Oh my god, that's hilarious. It just one-shot it last time. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh my goodness, the Phalaris that we bred up is super fast. And I hate myself. Because everybody in the party is now level 45. Joy. I also have, oh, let me land, let me land. Uh, let's see, uh, 14 legendary spheres, uh, 16 ultra spheres, and then the, the rest probably won't even capture it. 242 shotgun shells. Oh my god, this has been awful. But it's almost time for us to get the legendary that is right there. That doesn't have as much health, health as normal. Should I just like, hey, or I could miss, you know. Alright, change of plans. Let's use the Blazamut because it's like way stronger than anything else. Uh, Ignis Blast. I was doing 2,000 damage to uh, Lily. This, uh, I'm glad I prepared. Oh my god. You, you gotta be kidding me, right? You gotta be kidding me. That is, uh... I am glad I prepared. Get him, boy. Jesus, so uh, we can use the fire to whittle them down a, down a bit. Reload the shotgun. All right, how much? Uh, dodge, dodge, dodge. You, oh my god. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna get off because I am halfway dead already. Oh, I'm gonna hate hard mode for this. So how much? Yup. Yup, and that's fair because. After all that time, after all that time, wow. Okay, why does it have more health now? Oh my god, this is, this is rough. I, uh, hold on. Actually, hold on, get back in the ball. Two, two, two. Hey. Do we take it? Hmm. Nope, nope, we're out, we're out. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Let me out, please, please. Goodbye. I, I, got, I think I gotta level up one or two more times. Let's get the Mossanda up to two stars. And a couple hours later, everybody's at level 47 or 48. Uh, the Blasm was almost level 48, so by the time we get over there, it should be leveled up. Holy crap. Why does it have even more health now? What are you doing, Disco? My tiny little brain can cause... Oh, you're aggressive. Oh, you can't... Mm. There, there's one plan. Actually, how far away do I have to be to build it? Nope, nope. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Already at half health, and I haven't done a single lick of damage to it yet. And you missed it, you idiot stick. <laughs> okay, at least the damage over time does... Okay, I gotta wait for my shield to recharge.
Would you buy? Have a Yamaha? Mmm. Alright. Let's give this one more shot. Get him, boy. Can I just, like... That's so full damage. You guys didn't see that one. I was just in the settings checking to make sure we're not accidentally on hard mode. We're not. I'm just really, really bad. Hey, he has a little bit of less health this time. You know what, pal? Get him. Get him. Oh my god. Like, I know it's a shotgun. But, like, what is the range on it? That's so little. And then when I'm up close, it only does, like, just a smidgen more damage. Yeah, you get him, boy. Like, the damage over time of the fire does quite a bit, but that's it. Got that right. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that because there was a phone call in the middle of that. So, yes, it's been level synced down to level 48, but do you notice something? It has 13,000 health. Let's whip this out. Uh, four cooling. Uh, you're s so, it can be ridden as a flying mount and changes the player's attacks to ice type and enhances ice type attacks while mounted. Uh, so it has the legend skill, so 20% attack, 20% defense, and 15% extra movement speed. And then Ice Emperor, so 20% increased to a ice attack damage. Uh, Crystal Wing is their signature attack where it puts the ice on its wings. Uh, and 10% decrease to fire damage. Hmm. Honestly? Well, and the best part is, after all that, if we want to star it, we either well, actually we have to catch one more to start breeding it, or, uh, catch a bunch more to start starring it so uh oh actually the saddle oh my god i don't even i i learned i, I freaking need more points to get the saddle i'm an idiot i'm an idiot uh let me level up to level 49 and then i'll show off actually i have an idea i have an idea i have an idea so for a stallion you are male in my hell zephyr my good one where are you it doesn't work like that guys no, we can just use this. Yeah, this female one looks like our best bet. Uh, I'm going to take... Oh my goodness, who do I take out? Uh, it's just a little big for the breeding pen. But we're... watch this. Oh, you're low on sanity. I'm sorry. So the Hell Zephyr and the Frostallion make a huge dark egg. And that... No, no. And the huge dark egg makes... The huge dark egg makes a... Frostallion and knocked and no good stats but if we go over here over here nope wrong one how deck number oh it's in my inventory okay uh flying so basically the exact same but dark type but you don't get the massive health from if you just use the legendary that you caught 
uh, the bread ones will always have less health, but you can get more attack on them, basically. That's the trade-off. Plus, it doesn't didn't show up anywhere in the PAL deck until we got it. See, 110B. Very cool, very cool. Why do I never pay attention when I'm about to level up? Urgh, uh, let's do a more into health, because we died a lot. And then tech, and then scroll down. And then we can get the Frost Stallion or the Frost Stallion Knocked Saddle. Oh my god, I only have enough for one. And then we have to get the three other legendaries are all right here, too. I don't have enough. I need to farm up more of those tech manual things. But let's do the Knocked for now. Just because we're going to get a really good one here in a second. And I'll, I'll just show it off and then wrap this up. All right, it's now the next day. Here, let me sort. So I have all of these ones bred up. And this one, this is the only one with like close enough, like not, we're not, I want Legend, Swift, Runner, and then probably Ferocious. I have whipped up the saddle over here that's super expensive. It was uh, all that stuff, the refined ingots really killed me. But now, so if we go over, let's check out how fast this thing is. We can still get it. Oh yeah, okay. So, oh my. Oh my, that's, that's pretty good. That's like, we're all the way over here already? I wish the trail was like of dark shadowy stuff instead of the uh, snow from the normal one. Uh, this is pretty sweet. It's only level one, so I doubt we're going to be able to do much damage. Uh, can you tramp? Yes, you can. not Bye, have a good time. Uh, oh, I... I Oh, I sent him to the back rooms. Uh, I think I'd have to level it up a bit more. But I basically just wanted to show off how fast one of these are. Uh, not only that special wing attack that we don't learn for a couple more levels. But I've been at this for two days. And this video needed to come out a long time ago. Uh, so, heck, what else did I have to say? Oh yeah, so I was running a couple dungeons to... Uh, to gather something and we ended up getting these two life pendants plus two so it gives health up level three so normally we have 2050 health with the normal one we get 196 and then with the plus twos we get oh, oh two two thousand five hundred and three which is app dude who's incapacitated you were oh this game sometimes but I got to wrap this up. I'm going to work on breeding them between episodes. And thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate the support recently. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.